Good morning. Welcome to the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. Today is August 28th and we are on week three of the Happy Camper Sew Along. So this is the Happy Camper pattern. It is by Lori Holt and here is the piece right here. All stitched up. So um, Lily's going to pop up the little uh, chart that we're working off of. And so week one was the top left. Week two was the top right. And now we're on the truck. Next week we'll do the camper. Week five will be the words. And week six and seven will be the bottom row. So I'm going to show you kind of where I'm at. So this is where I'm at, and I'm going to show you a couple things. So I changed the eye color to the little girl to have blue eyes. My eyes are more green, but I just thought they'd be blue. I changed the collar on the dog to be blue because my dog is a little boy, not a little girl. And I'm going to show you how um, two different ways you can put the eyes in for the dog just to see, um, just so you can see the difference. And then my little trick that I got from Priscilla. Blaine is to outline areas and then fill in. So I did that throughout this whole thing. So now I just need to fill in the aqua and the dark gray. And when you come back next week, I will have lots of areas over here just ready to fill in. Because when I'm on camera, it is harder to count while I'm on camera. So I um, think the filling in is a great way to you know, do that on camera. So I am going to talk to you about a couple of magnifiers, which is what I said I would do last week. So we got these in and they're already sold out. And I didn't buy very many because I personally think they're very expensive. Um, I just thought it was, I didn't think anybody would buy it because it's so expensive, but then I used it and it's amazing. So it has a plug and you plug it in the wall, but it charges and it has a really bright light. It has three settings or two settings and this is a magnifier and it will move and adjust and I got this um, idea from Lori Holt and I have my little piggy piggy needle minder right there so that's where I keep my needle when I'm working so I've got this magnifier I like this one the best I got this one off Amazon and we ordered something similar it just has not arrived for the store yet so if you want to get this there's an Amazon link below it's an affiliate link so if you're interested you could try something like this we do have some on order though this will be back in stock in September we ordered directly from the manufacturer and they'll be available in September there's also a link to that this one has a light the light is not as bright you put it around your neck and you adjust it and you can see and you have to get really close to be able to see. So I'm gonna show you how I stitch on this and you kind of put this on your boobs, it's kind of weird. Okay. Um, the magnification, <laughs> yeah. The magnification level is a little bit different. So this one is 2.5, so it is lighter. This one is really strong, so you can see much better with this one, but it kind of depends on what you're kind of in the mood for because you might always not always be in the mood for something really strong. So um, I tried both of these out with Lori. Um, this was Lori's idea, I never thought I would use one and um, I really liked it. So I am going to um, turn around and just kind of show you how I use them. But the first thing is, I use this little board. You have to have something hard. You could also use a design board, but I don't want to break it. Um, but this is the board I use at home, so I brought it from home. I'll put my pillow under my thing, but you need something for this to sit on for it to work. Real quick, um, lots of people are asking how much each of those magnifiers cost. So we're going to look real quick. Um, this is Halo. This is called Halo Go uh, Rechargeable Table Lamp. Halo Go Rechargeable Lamp. Do you know my password? No. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> She's trying to look at the price. This one was not very expensive. This one is more than $100. So I am going to have my thread. I'm going to turn around and then let Lily get in place and then just kind of show you what I do at home. So I'll start with the Halo Go rechargeable. Okay, 
closer together. Okay, okay. So I have to really pull this up to my face. I'm going to start with the loop method and this really helps with the 25 count because my eyesight is not that great. I don't really think I need a magnifier for 14 count. When I start Snow Village, I will definitely use a magnifier because there's no way I can see it without. And so um, I've just got the magnifier, I've got the brightest light on, and I'm just going to stitch in hand all the way across. And I like leaving the outline and then filling it in because when I'm in the car waiting for my kids or um, at my boys, they take music lessons on Mondays, I can just stitch. Um, the music teacher lets me in the room and I can just stitch and I don't have to think or count. So it really helps. Um, but I, you know, you don't have to have a magnifier. This is just something that Lori showed me and then I was like, whoa, game changer, I really need this. <laughs> um, but this one is really strong. It's a really strong magnifier. So see, I can tell that I went in the wrong hole right there. And if I didn't have the magnifier, I probably wouldn't be able to tell that I did that. So I'm gonna rip it out and then start over. And the magnifier is good even at just the end of a project to see if you're missing any stitches because when I did Jolly July, I missed a couple stitches in the, in the um, ornaments and then figured it out once everything was finished. So that was not a good thing. So I'm just filling in. I'm using a Pat Carson size 26 needle. Tuck your hair on the left side behind uh -huh. your ear. Thank you. Yep. There we go. Much better. And I do this in bed. This is where I stitch most of the time. Or in the living room. My kids like to listen to wrestling, so sometimes I have to leave the room, even if I have my headphones on, because it's I find it disturbing. Because they like to cheer and go crazy and start mimicking the wrestlers. I can't even believe that I have kids that like wrestlers. So, 1999 for the one that goes around your neck and 11698 for the one that I'm using right now. So much difference in price. This one though is too big to take in my car, so the other one I keep it in my bag and use it. I've been using it at dance. Like last night, I'll show you what I stitched um, at dance. I had 30 minutes and I got some stitching time done. So this is how I stitch. Just fill it in and you don't have to think. And you'll see I'm not railroading. One thing about using the magnifier is you can really tell if your stitches are lying flat or laying flat. I don't know, I say that word wrong all the time, but um, if they're not, you can just unpick and then like if you feel like your stitches are not laying flat, I just take and separate my thread and then re-thread, but I always railroad when I do white. That's like a Kimberly rule. I always railroad when I do white. So this is this one. And I wish we had some in stock. We had 10 and they sold out really fast and I would have bought more but I thought oh people aren't going to pay that much because I felt guilty I'm going to be honest when I bought mine I felt pretty guilty I was like that's a lot of money so there's that and then I'm going to show you when I get to the end I'll show you how the other one works the other one is much different so this light is brighter but the magnification is stronger, so it can be a little strong. So I would say that's the pros and the cons, or the pros and the pros, however you want to look at it. So that's my word for today. So I got that done pretty quick. And um, so I can just turn this off. And um, I saw this on a group. You got to close this so you don't, if, if sunlight gets in there, it can burn what's behind it. So you always want to leave that closed. And you can even fold it down. So I can put it next to my bed, just like this. And there's this one. This one has a little light, but you can see the light is not very bright. 
but I like the magnification on this one and you can adjust it now you can make it tighter looser um, so it's not very bright but the magnification level is great because it's not too too close so it's actually easier to I think easier to see So it's kind of whatever you prefer. And you don't have to have a magnifier. I just started trying them. Lori did it and I thought, well, and it, it has made me go faster and anything that can make me go faster, I'm all for it because I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Can you tuck your hair again? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're okay. Yeah. Just yeah, and then this one is funny. Like you know, I know that people. Oh, I just did something funny. I'm sure people. I mean, I went through. I don't know what I just did. But I did something funny. Um, I'm sure people in the car next to me are like, "What is Kimberly doing over there?" I don't even care at this point. They all know I stitch, so I totally. Um, yeah. Sorry, this is just a little hard because it's more in front of you. Oh, do I turn? Um. Sure, let's try that. Yeah. So this one is, um, I would say this one, I like this one better. It's cheaper, but the light is not very bright. So, but I, I'm able to do it in my car. So, and I was nine o'clock. Well, she gets out of dance at 915. So, I mean, it was pitch black when I was in my car doing it. And I was able to do it. So, so I'm going to do a little bit more. And then I'm going to switch to the little doggy eyes. So that I can show you some little things you can do and I'll probably do the doggy eyes without the magnifier so that Lily can really get in because I know this is probably difficult for yeah, her to film. getting through the magnifier. Oh look right at that, there. that's amazing. That's Thank you. Okay sorry I can't see what y'all are doing. So. No it's okay. But since you can see the holes better, I feel like you can just go faster and then I make less mistakes so then I have to pull out um, my stitches less because... So I'll probably just travel up here and do this row also. And I will go all the way till I get to the end of this thread and then we'll do the doggy eyes. So, I would love to know what y'all think about magnifiers. Um, I know that's not great news that we're sold out, um, but I wouldn't have thought we would sell 10 of those in like three days. I don't know, sometimes I just feel guilty about spending money and then I think, well, nobody else is going to want to spend that money either because it's expensive. Uh, we do have a question from April Jackson. Uh, what type of light would you recommend for a long flight? Oh, on a flight? Oh, I would take this. I wouldn't even care if somebody was looking at me funny. I don't even care. Like, I totally would take this on the plane. Um, I've taken my little Vivilux lights on the plane before. I don't care. Like, I'm just one of those people that, like, I live life. I think it's fun. And if people think I'm crazy or funny, that's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. Like, if people look at me funny, it doesn't bother me. My kids know that I'm just like, they're, they like lost cause trying to talk any, um, so I think I'm going to do the eyes in this dark gray so that they stand out. There's also the light gray, but I think Piggy's eyes are darker, so I'm just going to get a little dark piece off and then I'm going to do it, I'm going to show you two different ways and I'm going to leave it in so you can see and then I'll fix it later. So with the 25 count you're stitching over two so you can you can really make the eyes smaller or bigger. So I'm going to start with the loop method. So let me trim this off 
Okay. So I'm using two strands for the back stitch because when I did one strand, I thought it was too light. Sorry. So for here, you can either do it two ways. You can, oops. Let me re-thread. I'm going to show you the two different ways. Okay, you can make it the full stitch, which is the length of the cross stitch, which is all the way down, and then your dog has a big eye. There you go. Or you can do a small eye by putting it in that stitch in below. So you can see the difference. I did the small eyes on the little girl, so I think I'll do small eyes. So I'm going to take out that first stitch and then fix them, and then that's how I'm going to do the eyes. But if you had Ada and you were working with Ada, you could just punch a hole in the middle of the stitch. There's some debate as to whether uh, the little animal on the back is a dog or a cat. Oh, this little thing? Yeah. I think he's supposed to be a doggy, but he could be whatever you want him to be. He's my little doggy. I don't have kitties. <laughs> I'm scared of kitties. Aww. I'm scared of cats because I don't like when they do that thing with your... With, with the kneading? Yeah, whatever that is. I'm scared of cats. But I love my little doggy. So this is Piggy, but I'm sure he could be whatever you want him to be. You can make him any color you want. Just like the, the little... Um, Lori's has a little girl dog. Mm. And so I want a little boy dog, so I made his collar blue. So I just did his little eyes. And I think they look cute. They're nice and small. But you can play with that. And you can make them long. You can do however you want. So that's what I have for today. I'm going to just finish that off on the back. And then I'm going to show you all the things that other people made and then take any questions you have on the stitch along. Okay, let me just readjust the situation here. Denise. So this is mine. That's how far, and so I'm going to do a lot of outlining over here so that when I come back, it's easy. This is Cody's. Oh, go Cody. Yes, and what Cody did really cool is she, on this, put a magnet and made it a needle minder. So she, oh, sorry. Okay, can you zoom into here so I cannot break everything? Sorry. No, zoom out out there so she put a little magnet on the back of this and put a magnet behind it because she's having trouble threading her needle since she's a new stitcher so that's a way that you could put your needle threader as a needle minder and then she has Ronnie and then she has a kitty so you can see Cody has cats and dogs but that looks like a kitty so maybe it is a kitty for her <laughs> and she made her hair she made her hat a little bit different. She made a gray hat. She's using Corey Yoder's thread pack. This one is Shelby's. She's stitching on 30 count Portobello. Her truck is 3849 and her flowers are 3609 and 3607. This one is Denise's, and she's doing blue bonnets and a red truck. Mm -hmm. Cute, right? It's adorable. So she, this is just 25 count. Now, the difference is, this is, the one up here is the one I'm doing, and that's modeled on one side. This is the flat side, so you can see that if you turn your 25 count Lugana over, there you go. So I can tell you the color she's doing. She's... Her flowers are 796 
$807.99 and her truck is going to be red. This is Cheryl's. That's upside down. Sorry. Look at how neat Cheryl's back is though. Hey, check that out. So, oh, she's really gone really far. So she is using beautiful beige 28 count linen. For classic color work, she's using ribbon red, ladybug, strawberry parfait, roasted chestnut, perfect pie crust, honeycomb, four leaf clover, spinach, really tealy, ocean from Weeks Dye Works, cauldron, and Plymouth Rock. And what Cheryl did is she already has a stash of classic color works. So she just pulled from her stash and she's using her stash, which is one thing that you can do. And you can really see how the variegation in this flower, you can see how the variegation of the thread really changes that flower to be a two-tone flower. And that's what that would give you. So that's what we have so far for our stitch along. And I'll take any questions before I keep going. Okay. Uh, Karen Amway says, do you have a date yet for when Jenny can be on chalkboard will be available at that workshop? I think it's going to be September. And Christy says, where did you get your lap tray? My lap tray. I've had that for years and years and years. I used to have another one. And it cracked. One of my kids sat on it when they were little toddlers. So I got a new one. I don't know. Michael's somewhere. It's cheap. It's like a little, I mean, it's totally cheap. I don't know. Amazon. Who knows? I've had it forever. I, but, I mean, they do break. I will tell you that they are. They do break. <laughs> if you have kids that like to sit on them <laughs> and play these songs. Uh, Cindy Stevenson says, what is the magic man? Magnification of, of the halo. 2.25. 2.25. With a 4.0 inset. With a 4.0 inset. So this little has a little inset. I'm going to show you. Right there. Yes. So there's like another hole right here. It's like a circle. I'm sorry, we have a glare going from the window. But there's like a little circle right here. And so you can see, there you go. You can see that if you need to see something more up close, there's a little tiny hole right there. So, and you can move it around. Like you can move this around where if you want that tiny hole down here, you can move that down. And, and yes, I'm trying to fix my echo, and guys, I'm working on it. Um, funny comment from Home Mom when we were talking about is it a cat or a dog? Uh, she said, I don't think cats are usually right in the back of a truck. And then she put that like laughing. Oh, that's like, funny. That's funny. My dog, yeah. My dog grates with me in the car. And then Donna Cook said, How many weeks is the stitch along? Seven. Seven. So we're on week three. And I have spent, I'll tell you how many hours I've spent on it so far. Five and a half hours, which is not bad. So now I'm gonna debut the charity, the charity cross stitch. So before I start, I'm gonna tell you that Fat Quarter Shop is obviously a quilting store, and we started 16 years ago, and this is our seventh or eighth year raising money for charity. And this year we raised 42,000 so far, and next year we would really want to raise 50,000, but obviously we have to give to get back. So we are going to have a free pattern that we'll be releasing between February and June. We will have different items that go with it, like thread packs, needle minders, bags, cute little things. None of that is available yet, obviously, because we're just now starting this, and that's going to start in February. But I'm stitching, and I want to show you. And I think you're going to love it. We're confetti canning for the debut. Yay. Yes. So here it is. This is the top half. 
So this is the very center and it's going to go down. So that is exactly half of it and I have spent, let me see how long, I've spent a long time on it. So. That's about nine hours. So I hope you guys love it. We will be obviously showing more and talking more about it over time. Right now we're just stitching it and then once we stitch it we will know. Um, once we stitch it we will know more about how many threads, how many skeins you need in each. We're ordering bags, we're ordering needle minders, we're ordering all kinds of things and hoping that you're going to stitch along with us and it's going to be a free pattern completely free so if you want to use your own fabric if you want to use your own floss you can do whatever you want to do you don't have to do anything we will be asking for a small donation like ten dollars if you're going to sew along with us to give directly to make a wish that's all we ask is that you know if you're inspired by the pattern that you give money so that we can grant more wishes in central texas we did just grant our first wish for this year if you want to know more about it it is on our fat quarter shop channel which is our quilting channel and it was last friday and i talk a little bit about it and you can see the recipient and her family and all of that do you have the picture if you want to show it or yeah just yeah 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 so that's me that's kevin jocelyn who is the brains behind all of the charity she should get all the props for it it was her original idea in front of her is avery and her mom Ashley, her brother Parker, and her dad James. And so she has leukemia. She is going to be going on a cruise. And um, she's super excited. I don't know if her parents are. Because I think they're a little scared. Her mom's pregnant, so she's a little bit scared about being on a cruise. Oh, yeah, but, um, but yeah, and they've never done a cruise before. But her, the, uh, Avery's super excited. So we have that. Um, I'm stitching mine on pewter 25 count Lugana. We will be, we have it in one yard cuts right now. I'm also going to be using this for something in October. But we are going to be selling this in smaller cuts like fat quarters in a week or two. Um, but we had a really hard time. We, we match the threads. The fabric is Summer Sweet or Sweet Summer by Sherry and Chelsea from Moda Fabrics and we match the threads as closely as we could to the fabrics. The only one that doesn't match is the gray. When I did the gray that matches the fabric, it was way too dark and was coming off black compared to the other one, so I pulled it out, and so that's the only difference. So this, it, and this kind of models the quilt a little bit. So this one will have a bird, our quilt doesn't have a bird. But I mean, we had to make it have something in the cross stitch that, that was not just a quilt block, so we put in a bird. Um, and the bird is going to go right here, and it's going to be completely free. So I'm super excited about that, and I love it. Can you see? I love it because I keep petting it. <laughs> um, but I've had a lot of fun doing it. I started this on Friday. So um, my favorite part is right here. And then we have, so excited. So our Club Chalkful, that is Priscilla Blaine's with heart, hands on design. This is her little boo bucket. So it is a club. It started with Harvest. If you're a member, you will be getting this chart and floss and fabric tomorrow. We'll be shipping tomorrow. So this is like her little small. And this is a little bucket that you can get from Hobby Lobby. And this is her finish. Look how pretty it is. Oh, so excited. Look at it. It's beautiful. So she finished it with, she used Monaco 28 count and she put an orange and black fabric on a sticky board behind it and then a black and white check and this little container is from Hobby Lobby and her bow is about one and a half inches and she's got two bows so you can see the bows are layered, it's a magnet and she can switch this out with all of her chalk bowls. So I'm going to put this right here because it's so beautiful. And I'm gonna show you this. So this is the thread. This is what you would get in your club. We're doing 14 count chalkboard black. 
And I started mine last night because the charts came yesterday about 4 o'clock. This is 30 minutes in. So I'm 30 minutes in. I am thinking about doing all of the pumpkins in orange and just having orange, white, green, and the blue for the mason jar. So I'm thinking of doing mine a little bit different, but I was just so excited that I got a little bitty bit done. And with this, there are two needle minders. This one is the front of the big design, and this one, there's a glare, sorry. So one of them is the front of the small design, and one of them is the front of the big design. And she has pin minis, which are cute little pins that you can you can use in your sewing. So we have that. So if you're in the club, it will be, we're gonna start shipping that tomorrow. Um, the patterns just arrived last night around four, well, I mean, four o'clock yesterday, UPS landed and we ran out there to get our patterns. Um, so we're packaging those today, shipping those tomorrow. If you're in our club, we totally appreciate it. We're almost full. Um, so we have that. And then let's see what else I finished. So this week I worked on my little fourth of my fourth of July, my little sheepy sheep. I know, but he's taking forever. So he's cute. He's like got a little flag. So I got I worked on him a little bit while I was at a car dealership. And that's super exciting that I got that done. And then ta-da, Cheryl made this. So can you zoom out a little bit? Sorry. So this is Birds and the Bees by Heart and Hand. She stitched it on 13 count vintage country mocha, which is packaged like this. And this is the pattern by Heart and Hand. And she used all the called for colors, but um, if you look at it, I want you to zoom in on it. It is delicious. Let me move the pattern out. You, so she stitched on linen, but you can really see the color variegation without having to change colors. All of this color variegation in this gold. Really, really pretty. So there's that, and I will answer any questions before I show you all the new stuff that has arrived. Great. So. Uh, Cindy Carl says, when will the Colorworks Floss be ready for the club? Next week. Next week. And Jana Gorsuch says, uh, about the chock full harvest kit, was the floss and the kit supposed to be enough for both charts? I did not have enough for queen bee nor chalk for the small. I used three strands over one on 14 count. Um, she's like, did I do that wrong? Oh, you should have used two strands. There should definitely be enough floss for both charts and enough fabric, but you need to use two strands, not three. Uh, from Patty Gardner, do you know if the neck magnifier has replaceable bulbs? No idea. No idea. I don't know. Um, I know, oh, the neck magnifier. The neck magnifier, I don't know if it has replaceable bulbs, but I do know that this is where the battery goes and you have to switch it out. Um, so I do know that because Lori and I looked at that and we bought a new battery and switched it out. So I do know that it does have a replaceable, you just put in, it's one of those um, round flat magnets. So not like a double A, triple A, I don't know anything about batteries. I just know that you can like Google, you can just like Amazon it, find it. And then uh, about the Charity cross stitch, are you using DMC or Fancy Floss? I was from Terry Lane. I'm using DMC. I like DMC better than Fancy Floss if you want to know the truth um, because I can do the method where you go all the way across and come back and you don't have to do each stitch one at a time. Um, but we are going to show you our floss colors and DMC colors, but we're going to encourage you to use whatever you want. The whole goal of the charity is to raise money for Make-A-Wish. Um, Kevin and I donate $10,000, Moda Fabrics donates $10,000, and then we try to give an amount for the quilt. We say $5 per each time you download a pattern. If you have that in your budget, if you don't, even a dollar. Um, and for the cross stitch pattern, we said $10 because we thought that the pattern was definitely worth more than $10. But if we just asked for $10, hopefully we could get that. And even if 50 of you donated, that's $500. That's 
a little portion of a wish. Um, Central Texas, all the money goes to Central Texas Make-A-Wish. Just so you know, there are 500 families every year that request a wish grant, and they are only able to grant 300 based on the amount of money that they raise from Central Texas. So if we can do five wishes, I mean, hey, that makes a difference. Five out of 300, it's not, it's not insignificant. Anything you can do. And then um, also about uh, the charity cross-stitch, Susan A says, who designed it? Gorgeous. Jocelyn. So Jocelyn designs, she's worked for us for 12 and a half years. She's worked for us for however old Emma is. So um, when she interviewed, Emma was in my lap because I was like that first time mom and I don't want to let anybody touch my kid. Um, and Emma used to come to work with us. So um, she always designs something. She takes a long time and she also designs our designer mystery quilts. She designs a ton of our stuff, but our main big things she designs. Um, and then Stacy Fallon says, uh, do we know the DMC and Fancy Floss options on the new uh, cross We're gonna be releasing that in a little bit. We're not going to release that quite yet because we want, I want to get it finished. What if I change a color? For example, the gray, when I started, I changed the gray. I want it to be completely finished so I know exactly how many skeins you need, how many spools you need, the colors, nothing changes. So we're going to release that later. And obviously it doesn't start until February. I'm just giving you guys a tease, but by December, January, all that stuff will be available. Plenty of time for you to order it. Judy Gibbons says, so is it a sampler? It's based on, so what we did is we took the quilt and we kind of just made it look similar to a quilt, but more like a cross stitch. And then Priscilla has graciously agreed to finish it for us and um, so that it'll look, be a really pretty finish because if I had to finish something that big, it would look ugly. Um, and so she'll give us some finishing ideas so that you can feel like you can finish it at your home also, something that is doable for everybody. And you don't have to go to a frame store. And Candy Kerr says, sorry, I might have missed it. Will thread and fabric be sold for the charity sit along? Yes. So we will have fabric. We will have thread sets. We will have cute little bags that we're designing right now. We will have needle minders, which we're designing right now. And by we, I mean Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. And um, other, you know, we will have all the things. Um, from the Academic Stitcher, great name. Uh, any chance you might do a club with only the patterns for Snow Village? I already have so much DMC and I hate to pay for something that I don't need. We sell the patterns individually, so you can buy them individually. Um, as they come out, um, at the very end, we will sell a set of all of them together once they're all out. And if, speaking of that, if you want to pop up the Snow Village oh, yes. image, I can show you what that is. That is a new series by Country Cottage Needleworks. We are offering a club. It comes in, you can either get it in 16 count Ada or 32 count linen. It is country French rain. And here are the colors and the fabric. But also if you are like me and not really sure that you can do 16 count, which it will be my first time doing 16 count, we are selling 14 count and 28 count separately in this color if you wanna make it bigger. So these are the DMC colors that Nikki from Country Cottage Needleworks has picked and these are the classic color works and if you're in the club at first you would get the pattern the fabric and all the floss of course all of these things you can order individually off our site if you're interested and the 14 and 28 count uh, rain uh, stuff is going online today or tomorrow we had to have we had to get it in uh, Jill Drewler says, I have trouble with the Vivilux lights. They don't rotate on my area of work. Any suggestions? The Vivilux, the little clippy lights? Mm -hmm. um, you can put them on anything. You can put them on your shirt. You can put them on, um, you can put them on the light. You can put them on different areas. One time I put them on the, I'm such a dork, like the um, visor on your car, like it comes oh, down. Yeah. You can like put your visor and then you can clip it and then turn it. So like you can have fun with like where you put it. Yeah, so these people at dance, I'm telling you, they're like that Kimberly lady that's trying to raise money for dance. She's crazy over there in her car. But see, I don't care. Like, I just think it's fun. Like I'm kind of quirky and I kind of like being quirky. So. 
Okay. Tanya Anderson says, I have a question about needle brights and gauges. She says, I use size 24, easy buy bolts of needles. I purchased the pads in the same size. The pack carsons are much bigger. Is it normal to have them between brands? Yes. So no needle is the same between brands. But what it is, that means the eye of the needle and the length. Not the length. The eye and the thickness, I believe, means that. So like if you get a size 28... It's smaller, right? It's thinner. It's thinner, and the hole, it will be harder to thread because the hole will be smaller. As far as the length, that's all up to the manufacturer. Um, but I use size 26, and I have been using, for Ada, I use 26 count John James Petite. For my 25 count that I've been using, I have been using size 26 Pat Carson or size 26 Bowen, and I have all my little needles in here, and then I just grab from there, and I can tell the difference, um, I can just tell the difference by how they look, um, but with needles, I would say play around, and um, you know, DMC, they, DMC also has affordable needles that are a little bit less expensive, um, just play and then once you find what you like, you'll stick with it. I haven't tried the ball tip. I know that's what Chelsea uses, um, but each brand is different. It's just more about the eye and how easy it is to thread and how thin or thick it is. It doesn't have to do with the length. And I hope that's right. Uh, from Robin Rexroad on the boot finish, is the black white piece attached to a magnet on the farm fresh stand or is it permanently attached? It is a magnet. So here you go. And that is how she has her harvest also, so that she can switch this out with each season. So then you only have, to, so she has a season, there's eight designs. I don't know, there's, there's seven, six, eight something designs, and she's making them very similar with different bows. This attaches, this comes off also, and that way she has to have one prop and she can switch it out, and then as she switches it out, she could put this in a Ziploc bag, put it in, and then you don't have to store as much. I'm gonna do mine a little bit different um, because I don't trust myself to not lose all the pieces. So um, Priscilla's finishing my harvest, and she's gonna just hot glue it down. I said hot glue it down and make it permanent. Mm -hmm. uh, April Buckland says, on a future floss tube, could Kimberly show us how to stitch on the perforated paper for the sludge she made? I have the supplies, I'm just not sure how to do it. I yeah, we can do it um, in a couple weeks. Yeah. It's easy. You can't really stitch in hand. You got it's. You really got to poke and stab, and you got to kind of hold it. You can't bend it. Um, it's more of a slower process, I would say. Maybe that's the right word. And then April Jackson also said, "Confetti cannon for Jocelyn. She does amazing work that translates into me sending all my money to FQS." Oh. <laughs> So confetti cannon for Jocelyn, because Jocelyn is amazing. Yes, she is, yes. And, you know, she I hired her right out of college. She went to the University of Texas. She didn't know anything about quilting. And um, one of the great things about Jocelyn is her mind works. She's like a mathematical mind and creative, which is really hard to find, because sometimes if you're so mathematic, you're not as creative. So she's a little bit similar to me, where there's, like, creativity and math. So she knows exactly how to come up with unique things. She does all of our video designs, our shortcut quilts, classic and vintage, all the things um, so that we have original creative content for you guys. Yeah, we still have a lot of questions rolling in. Um, okay. So we'll cover yeah, we'll, we'll do a couple more and then I'll show you my new stuff and then go back to questions. Okay. Uh, Lillian Ross says, can you iron your cross stitch when done? I do. Um, you're not supposed to steam if you use classic color works because it might bleed, but I do it anyway. So um, iron at your own risk. But I actually, yeah, I iron it. I put a white, I bought a white towel from Bed Bath & Beyond. That's only for my cross stitch. I put it down. It's just a hand towel. Put my cross stitch on it, put another hand towel down, and then iron. And then that's the way that I do it so that I'm not putting it directly on the, the piece. Um, and then I just keep those hand towels in my, right by my iron so my kids don't use them. Uh, Nicole Wasik says, I don't see the 28 count option for Snow Village Club on the website. Will it be available? It might look so fine, but it's not a club. 
the 28 and 14 count are not a club they would be purchased separately so you would look at the pattern the pattern will list exactly what skeins and DMC you need so you would just buy all of it individually if you called our customer service they could take your name credit card um, and then you know enter it manually for you and then call you back if you want to do that if you don't want to take the time to sit and click all that the club is just 16 and 32 count because we wanted to keep it just like classic color works and I'm gonna be honest I'm making it in one piece and I'm doing 16 count and I'm nervous because I cannot see uh, oh, okay. uh, Sharon Berkemeyer says do you wash it your project before ironing mm -mm. I don't some people might I don't wash uh, cute comment from Candy Kerr. I'm going to work some serious overtime so I can get all the things charity fat quarter shop. Aww. I thought that was great. Thank Thanks, you. Candy. Okay. And, uh, oh, Tanya Anderson just wanted to clarify that the issue with the needle she was having was that the width was not the same. The Pat Carsons are much thicker. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I know Pat Carson's, I know that the lady who developed them was named Pat Carson and she, some people really like them. Um, I think all the needles are just different. Um, I don't know enough about, I just know that I've been playing around with them. So I'll show you some new stuff that we have. So we have these two. These are our clubs that just went out. This is white chalk. This is lamb's wool and this is white chocolate. So this was the first month of the club and this was the second month. And these are my personal clubs. That's why you saw the sticker because that means it's a club and I'm gonna show you what to do with it so that if you buy something from us, you know what to do. And then we've got some new patterns. Some of them are older. A lot of these were requested. This is Plum Street Sampler Spring Delivery. Harvest Delivery. Tired Trio. That is like the cutest thing. I don't like sloths, but that's sloths with some cute flowers. Halloween Delivery. We have some new Country Cottage Needleworks that was requested, or Little House Needleworks that was requested. Seasons of Growth. Seasons of Plenty. Seasons of Hope. And Seasons of Rest. So those four go together. Hands on Design. Put on the hat. And then this one, um, Quaker's Wishes Hat. A lot of people have really loved this one. So she's the same lady who did Quaker Pumpkin and Quaker Flag, Quaker Heart. <laughs> and then Shannon Christine came out with two different pumpkins. And on hers, she's using Dinky Dyes Silk. So this one is in white. And this one is in orange. And then we got some new Jobelin Black. So Cheryl requested that we get this in 28 count so that she could stitch Boo on it. And then we had a, re a request for red linen, 28 count. So we got those two. And this is the 28 count and the 14 count of the Country French Rain that will be available later to get today for the Snow Village Club. And again, you would need to buy the pattern and the fabric separately. The club is only in 16 and 32. So that's all the new stuff. And for the, we're doing a beginner quilt along. So if you are a cross stitcher and you don't know how to quilt, you can come to our site and learn how to quilt. So the top three, the top row has three quilt blocks that have already released and the bottom one, the one on the left, is the one that we're going to be releasing tomorrow. So if you are interested in learning how to sew, you can subscribe to our Fat Quarter Shop Quilt channel and that's free videos and free tips from me 
on how I stitch. Also free pattern. And free pattern. Free video. Free, free, free. <laughs> Okay, you have questions? Yeah, okay. questions. Cool. And I'm just gonna put this in my lap because it's so pretty. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's that one. That one. Okay. Um, Denise Henry says the pumpkin swirl pattern looks like it has specialty stitches. I wanted to purchase it, but I wanted to know about it first. Thanks so much. There are beads. So it's cross stitched, and then she uses topaz, green, white and Swarovski crystals. You can find beads on fusionbeads.com. We can list the beads on our site so it looks like there are cross stitches and then outside the cross stitches are beads. I have zero experience with beads, guys. I think it'd be pretty just with the stitches and leave the beads off. It's cute. Yes, yeah, so we will list, if we don't have the beads listed, we will go ahead and add those so that if you're interested in doing the beads, you can. But it does look like just regular stitches with beads. And Candy Crew says, speaking of needles, I love the ballpoint needles. Kimberly, have you tried them? I haven't. I have them in my bag, though, so I will try them. I have like five projects going on. I have the charity quilt. I'm hoping to finish this this week. I have Boo. I'm going to try to do the top. I'm going to try to do a little bit on the sheep. And I have a little surprise in my bag that I can't show you till October. It's going to be awesome. And I haven't even shown Lori. It's a little collaboration we're doing with Lori, and I'm going to surprise her. I don't think she's on right now, but it is cute. And she's going to be like so um, surprised with my color. So don't tell her. <laughs> don't tell her. It's a secret. Um, and then. Uh, Terry Lane said, we need to chat with Jocelyn session on the session on the FQS channel. Okay. Maybe in the future. Or as like a members only thing? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Deanna Stoutenberg says, did you get your new glasses? I did. Um, and I um, had a little experience. So, I think my eyesight was so bad. And so, I mean, it had only been a year, but my eyesight, I had radial keratotomy when I was 18. And it was free, it was my Christmas gift. Um, but it was free with our insurance, with my dad had really awesome insurance. But they say that once you hit 40, your eyesight just goes down. And I just think I couldn't see. And I got my glasses on Monday and I was like, oh my gosh, the world has opened up. I can see, I can see, it's awesome. Had the biggest headache all day yesterday. I actually had to go home early because I could not, um, I couldn't work. I kept moving the computer. I couldn't, um, I just had a headache. But today I'm feeling better. Um, but my um, prescription is awesome, but it is taking a while to, I've never had glasses where I have to like really adjust. But yeah, I got new glasses. I'm excited. I'm excited that I can see. I just, I'm hoping that I can get adjusted. Like when Emma saw me last night, she's like, what is wrong with you? You look funny. I was like, I just don't, I don't feel that great. But I was still stitching that boo in the car, even though I had a headache. I was still stitching <laughs> Also, Lori is in the chat. She said, I am here, LOL. No, you're good. You can't. No, just pretend I didn't say that. But you're going to like, you're you're going to be shocked when I show you. You're going to, uh, and by the, oh, and me and Denise did the colors together. Ooh. You're going to be shocked that I did it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Robin Henrich says, is a cute little polka dot box. Can really keep her needles and magnetize and is it available to purchase at FUS? It Thanks. is. I don't know that. Can you look it up, Denise? Yeah, it's, um, by Pleasant Home. it's by Pleasant Home and it is magnetic. So my little needles don't fall out. And I have my bow in here. My, my bow, no. John James, Bowen, and then Pat Carson. So I have them kind of separated out. Um, and I just keep this in my bag. And it goes through security at the airport. Hey. Magnetic, magnetic travel pin box. Magne magnetic travel pin box. And I think it's different colors. Mm -hmm. But of course, I have pink. And then uh, another funny comment, comment from Home Mom about my microphone echoing. She said, it's okay, Lily. You sound like the old powerful Oz. Yeah, it was doing that a couple weeks ago. We don't know. Yeah, well, technical things with microphone. Video travels slower than audio, so I have to put a delay on the microphone, but we're using a different video cable today, so maybe that's why it's starting echoing. Technical stuff. Um, let's see. Lori says you can't surprise her. Uh -huh. 
Yes, I can. Oh, interesting. Tina Rutan says, I have extra glasses for my workspace and for stitching. Maybe that would help with headaches? Ask your optometrist. Yeah. And then Lori said, the all-powerful Lily. That's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, and then Vicky Robles says, okay, I didn't hear exactly how Snow Village was going to work. What do we have to buy extra? I just thought that everything was included. So if you are in the Snow Village Club, 16 count or 16 count Ada or 32 count linen, you will get everything you need. The first month you will get the pattern, the fabric, and the floss. Every month after you will get the pattern. For the customers that don't want to do 16 or 32 count, they can buy the 14 or 28 counts separately and do all of that separately. So it's if you're in the club, you're ready to go, but it's 16 and 32 count. I bought the 14 and 28 count because we had a lot of requests for uh, people to have an uh, easier cloth to stitch on. And Janet Loring says, is Joe born an even weave fabric and would you stitch over too? You would stitch over two, and I don't know if it's even weave, so let me look. I don't think it's even weave. No, it is not even weave. Uh-uh. It's more like a linen. No, it's linen. It's a, it's a linen. It is not even weave at all. So, I'll show it to you up close. You can really see. Yeah, it's linen. Right? That's not the jubilin. That's linen. Oh. Black. Oh, sorry, I'm showing the wrong thing. Haha. -ha. Here's the Jovelin. Sorry, let me look. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> That's why Denise is in here because I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure if it's even weave or not. Maybe. People in the chat are saying it. Yeah, it looks definitely more even than the linen, um, so I would refer to everybody else. I'm not sure. Yes. Lori says it's even. Okay, even weave, yes. There's your answer. See, y'all just had to ask each other. <laughs> now i got to put this back <laughs> after I unfolded it. Oh, yeah. Um, and let's see. Stacy Fallon says, Kimberly, is it possible to get a sample pack we could purchase, say, one of each? And I think she meant the needles. No, we don't have that option. Also, Stacey, if it wasn't about the needles, let us know in the chat so we can answer it. Um, and then Candy Curry said, did Kimberly do a video for the cross stitch pillow? I think Farm Girl, I want to do that to my poultry's cottage. Um, I'm going to be filming it next week. We have a Ditta Sitar coming in um, today. So we're going to be filming it next week. We might be able to squeeze it in today, but I don't think so with my, the we were supposed to do it this week. And then yes, like Monday and Tuesday, I was like, I don't think I can film. My eye was actually closing. It was like going, doo doo. So I was just like, we're not going to film. So I have pushed it back, but it's going to be cute. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I really enjoy spending my Wednesdays with you. Um, have a great day. And um, oh, if you wait. have any... Shout outs. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. We have shout outs. Yes. And the winner. Of and the winner. Yes. The winner is Sherry Smart. So here's her Instagram post. I thought it was cute. And then, like, her little doggy, it looks like a Scotty dog. Oh, my God. So she changed it to a Scotty dog, which I think is really cute. I know. So she's our winner, and then we have some shout outs. That is Mary Ellen McAuliffe. Yeah, Lily's got it. She says, I don't, normally don't do stitching and haven't really done counted before, but this is cute, and I have a lot of RF loss. So I love that what she's doing is using what she has not having to feel like she has to go out and buy something new. And then this, I have seen so many people doing this purple and green. Um, first time doing Count and Cross Stitch because of the Happy Camper was too cute. It's the same lady, um, but I just really like her purple. Mm -hmm. And she's got a purple um, on her scissors. She's got a key fob. Key fob. Oh. Stitch fob. And then this is the red truck. Oh my gosh. So yes. That's totally red truck. Mm -hmm. And she's making a little um, little um, piece for the door. She's got the little door cut out. And then this one, she's doing a gray camper. 
Shelly Phillips Edwards. So I just love showing, and she's got the purple too. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of people are doing those purple flowers. So if you search that hashtag, you'll be able to see. And this is so cute. So Arthel Thread shared this. Emmy. Oh, sorry. Emmy Lynn 1345 created this beautiful cross stitch using Aura Floss and a Lori Holt pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. Then she turned it into an amazing zipper pouch. So we have a video on how to turn it into the zipper pouch and that is Lori Holt's pattern. And then this is so cute. I was so excited that somebody made this. This is my little bag that I had made and shown. It's over here. Um, and it says, I finally finished the stitching for love my stitching bag. I'm not sure I'm happy with the white for the thread from the spool, but I love it. I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. This is the hashtag for people yep. for, to be entered into the weekly giveaway. Yes, so we will have a giveaway next week. Uh, you guys have a great week and um, send in any comments. I love reading your comments and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.